Hey lovelies! So we're now a few good weeks into 2020, and I know if you're anything like me, this can be the time of year where you start to fall off a little bit when it comes to your New Year's resolutions. But this year I am committed to keeping us all on track and I'm doing that by sharing delicious, healthy and fresh recipes all month long. Today it is all about these awesome Asian inspired noodle bowls. Not only do these look amazing, but they are super fresh, super flavorful and most importantly, really easy to make. Now just before we get to our noodle bowls for the day, I wanted to remind you guys if you are having trouble keeping yourselves on track, that you should definitely check out Healthy Meal Plans. It's our amazing meal planning app and it really allows you to meal plan for the entire week. You can browse lots of recipes, add them to your weekly meal plan, and then print your grocery list and take it straight to the grocery store with you. It is an amazing tool. I hope you will check it out. Now, let's get to our first noodle bowl. It is a fresh noodle bowl. Now, this bowl is eaten cold, so it's perfect for lunch or, let's be serious, an easy dinner, but it all starts with this really yummy dressing. Now, for the base of this dressing, I'm actually going to be using some almond butter. Traditionally, you might use some peanut butter in a recipe like this, but I love almond butter, so I'm swapping it in. If peanut butter is what you have on hand, you can go ahead and use it. It will totally work. So I've got my almond butter in my bowl, and to that, I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil. If you want wanted to use a canola or a vegetable oil here, that's totally fine. You just want something that's flavorless. An olive oil, for example, would be too strong a flavor for a recipe like this. Next, I'm going to add my soy sauce to this. Then I've got some tang happening with some rice vinegar, one of my favorite ingredients. And I'm going to add some sweetness with a little bit of agave. Now, if you don't have agave, that's totally fine. You could swap in some honey. For even more great tang, I'm also going to be adding some lime juice to this. And then I've got my classic Asian ingredients, some freshly grated ginger, and of course, some garlic. In this case, I'm grating my garlic instead of using minced garlic. It just helps that flavor get much better incorporated. Once I've got my dressing all whisked up, I'll just set it aside and get to work on cooking up my noodles. So for all three of today's bowls, I'm going to be using rice noodles. And there are so many reasons to love rice noodles, but the reason I love them the most is that they actually cook up so super quickly. So I've got a pot of boiling water on the stove and I just pop my rice noodles in and they only usually take between two or three minutes to soften up and become totally delicious and edible. Now, of course, you can definitely drain your noodles in a colander in the sink, but I have I have to be honest with you, the fewer dishes I use when I'm cooking, the happier I end up being at the end. So I'm actually just going to use some tongs to transfer my noodles directly into my bowl. All right, lovelies, it's time to bring it all together. I've got my cooled noodles hanging out in my bowl and I'm going to start by dressing them a little bit. I like doing the dressing first near the noodles so that we can get them nice and tossed in it. I'm just gonna sort of drizzle it on top like this and then we can get our fresh on and I'm going to do that with lots of beautiful, fresh, crunchy vegetables. I've got some julienne carrots headed in here. I've got some cucumber that I've just seeded and cut into little half moon shapes. I've got some thinly sliced shallot and some green onion. I love using the combination of both because each has a bit of a distinct sort of oniony flavor that's really, really tasty. To amp that fresh factor up even more, I'm going to be using a big handful of fresh herbs. As you can see, I'm not even chopping them. I've got some mint headed in here, some cilantro, as well as some basil. Then I'm going to add some good crunch with a nice sprinkle of crushed almonds to this, as well as a good squeeze of lime juice to bring it all together. And guys, this is one of those meals you can feel really, really good about. Come on, tell me this would not make the entire lunchroom green with envy. Next, if you're looking for a noodle bowl that's a little heartier and a little more satisfying, I definitely recommend trying this amazing noodle soup with mushrooms, bok choy, and tofu. The best part about this soup is it is completely vegan, which I know a lot of you love because I know a lot of you are trying to eat a little less meat this year. I'm gonna start by sauteing my mushrooms. Now I will say, traditionally in a soup like this, you usually just add your raw mushrooms right into your hot broth and that's how they cook but I find mushrooms get a much better flavor if you saute them a little bit first. Totally up to you, but if you wanna maximize flavor, come with me on this journey. I've got about four full cups of sliced mushrooms headed into my pot with a little bit of oil. I'm just going to let those cook away until they've released some of their moisture and they start to brown. Next, I'm going to get some green onion in here. You'll see I'm only using the white parts of the green onion. That's where a ton of that great onion flavor is. And I'm going to save the green parts for garnishing at the end. I'm also going to be adding a good helping of garlic and ginger to this. 
I'll just let those cook up, stirring them constantly for about a minute or so just to let them reach their maximum flavor potential. Then it's time to get my broth into the pot. Now for this recipe, I'm using vegetable broth, but some mushroom broth would also work really well here. Or if you can find miso broth, that would be super tasty as well. I'm going to add a little splash of soy sauce for some nice savory umami flavor. And the secret ingredient to make this soup really incredible and authentic tasting is star anise. Now if you've never seen it before, it's this beautiful little star-shaped spice that has just a hint of licorice flavor. I know that might not sound super appealing in a soup like this, but guys, you have to take my word on this one. It really adds just this little je ne sais quoi to your soup that makes it taste super authentic and delicious. How many times can I say super in this sentence? At this point, I'm just going to bring this broth to a simmer, reduce my heat to medium low, and let it sort of simmer away for just five to 10 minutes. That's really all it takes to let those flavors infuse and get super delicious. <laughs> I need new adjectives. Leave them in the comment section below. Once that's had a chance to simmer away, we can remove our star anise from the pot and add our rice noodles in. Now again, our rice noodles are only going to take two or three minutes to cook. As soon as they start to soften up, we're gonna go ahead and add some greens to the pot. In this case, I'm using some baby bok choy that I've just chopped up, but if you wanted to use some spinach or kale instead, if that's what you have in your refrigerator, you definitely can go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to be adding some tofu. So I love adding some extra firm tofu to a recipe like this, it adds a lot of great protein and a little extra texture. If you're not a tofu fan, totally fine. Just go ahead and leave it out. All we're going to do is give this another two or three minutes to let those greens sort of wilt down and that tofu heat through. And this yumminess is ready to serve. You really can garnish this up however you like. I like some thinly sliced green onions, maybe some sesame seeds, some red pepper flakes if you're into the heat. It's really versatile and oh my gosh guys, so delicious. Perfect for a chilly winter evening like the ones we've been having where I live. Finally guys, we are going to be making an amazing Vietnamese inspired chicken noodle bowl that I think you're absolutely going to love. And it all starts with a really, really flavorful dressing slash marinade. We're going to be using half the dressing on our noodles and also half the dressing to cook up our chicken. It's going to be unbelievable. And like with most great Asian dressings, we're gonna start with an awesome balance of flavors. So we've got a little salty, a little sweet, a little spicy, a little tangy, something for for every taste bud, if you will. Now, this recipe all starts with some fish sauce. Do not panic if you are not a fan of fish sauce, guys. I'm going to make you a believer. Fish sauce is so incredibly flavorful, and while it may smell and taste a bit pungent all on its own, when it's mixed with these other ingredients, it becomes basically perfect. It adds such a nice savory flavor, it's totally irresistible. I'm also going to be adding some soy sauce to this, so we've got a ton of savory goodness. I've got some rice vinegar headed in here for some tang as well as some lime juice. For sweetness, once again, I'm using some agave syrup, but you can use white sugar, brown sugar, or honey. All would be great substitutes. And then for some real deliciousness, I am loading in some chili garlic sauce. If you're not a fan of the heat, you could totally use some fresh garlic in this recipe instead. That would definitely work. But chili garlic sauce is basically one of the most heavenly ingredients ever sent to cook in. If you can handle the heat, I definitely recommend you do. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of avocado oil, give it a whisk, and there you go, an amazingly flavorful dressing that is also perfect to marinate our boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Basically, all I'm going to do is pour over half of my dressing. Just wanna make sure I get everything nice and covered. And then we're just going to reserve this other half. And of course, as with any marinade, time is your friend. So the longer you can let this yumminess sit, the better it's going to taste. I'm going to get it into the refrigerator for at least half an hour, but of course, an hour or even overnight would be great. Once your chicken is amply marinated, it is time to get it into the pan. So I've got my cast iron pan heated up over medium high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it because of course we don't want anything sticking. Then I'm going to get my chicken right into the pan with all of that yummy marinade. I'm going to let it cook up, flipping it regularly until it is nice and brown and all of those flavors have caramelized. And of course it has reached a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That is really, really important. And then I'm just going to remove it to a cutting board and let it cool slightly before slicing it into nice thin strips. 
And then it's time to bring our bowls all together. So in this case, I'm using a slightly thinner rice noodle, and I'm just going to top my rice noodles with that yummy dressing that I had set aside. Next, I'm going to pile on some nice crunchy vegetables. So I've got some carrot once again that's been julienne. I've got some green cabbage that has been finely shredded, as well as some chopped snow peas. I absolutely love snow peas. I always have some in my fridge. I'll load my amazing chicken on top of that and then add even more of that great dressing. I'm gonna finish this off simply with a little sprinkle of sesame seeds as well as some finely chopped red chili for just a touch of heat. And oh my gosh, guys, this is a total winner. Don't believe me, you absolutely have to try it for yourself. In fact, I hope you'll try all three of these tasty bowls. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, all three of these yummy recipes are being featured on healthymealplans.com, our awesome meal planning site, so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.